It all started with a small immigrant family. That's me, Alex Danielik. And that's my mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Danielik. We left Ukraine in search of a new life. Welcome to Canada. Thank you. We couldn't afford to live in the city, so we ended up in London. London, Ontario. Of course, like most hopeful immigrants, we found ourselves a house that we couldn't actually pay for, so things got worse. Mom and Dad started arguing a lot more. But eventually, a Russian friend of the family helped Mom get a job as a bookkeeper's assistant at a bank. But Dad wasn't of much use. He tried, but people didn't trust him. So we basically lived on welfare. Everything my mom earned went to pay off the mortgage. I didn't have any friends to play with or socialize with, except my mom's computer. And to be honest, we got along very well. I'm talking internet, video games, forums, chat rooms with random strangers, all sorts of sites, easy access to information, and infinite possibilities. It was this that made me want to go to college. I wanted to follow in the footsteps of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and one day change the world for the better. Fortunately, or unfortunately, I learned early on that I needed to save up money for school myself. My very first dollars. <laughs> my job was being a clicker. I'd build up traffic to sites by changing my IP address and visiting the same site over and over again. It was boring, but it was easy money. For every thousand clicks, I made twenty dollars. It wasn't a lot, but all big things have small beginnings. Time went by, and I wanted to learn more about how the world worked, especially the money world. The internet was full of ideas and opinions about the banking system, the financial crisis, the vulnerability of the system, and about the need for change. But some things just never changed. So that's how I grew up. As you can see, it wasn't a fairy tale, but I was hoping that would change. Just a coffee, please. Yesterday, a cyber attack was perpetrated on a number of government sites and banks. Responsibility for this attack was claimed by Dark Web, an online criminal organization led by a hacker named Zed. Now, he is considered to be an international criminal implicated in dozens of cases around the world. Now, this video was uploaded claiming that responsibility. We are Dark Web. We will not stand by and allow slave masters to control our lives. We will fight back. We will bring them down. This, this is, is just the beginning. beginning. And in other news, the stock market has been unstable due to these attacks. Mom, I'm home. Mom? Mom. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? Okay, no, no, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. I've got another job. Van calls the mortgage, and now they know that I'm unemployed and I can't pay monthly bills. Who will lose their house? Okay. okay. Well, what did Dad say? <laughs> Dad, he's asleep.
came up. What is this? This is money. I think this will last you for a few months, and then after that, I can get more. Where did you get this? Did you steal it? No, 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 I didn't steal it. I, I've been saving up for college. But how? You never told us, and... Where did you get no, this? That doesn't matter. What matters is we're not gonna lose the house. Okay. I can't take it. You need to pay for school. Oh, Mom, please. Okay, I'm, I'm an adult. Okay, I can, I can get a job. I can, I can make this back. But please take it. What will I supposed to say to Dad? Tell him the truth. <laughs> Thoughts were rushing through my head. Why? For what? I hated the bank that fired my mom. Even if the bank had a hundred reasons, I still fucking hated them. I spent years saving up that money. I put down a deposit for school, and now I risk losing everything. I had to start over. And I didn't have years to spend. I needed something faster, but the internet was just full of scams. And then, I remembered something. Dark Web was this online hacker group was getting a lot of news at the time, and I was surprised that their site hadn't been shut down. It all seemed kind of simple at first, I just needed to make an account and sign up. But real access wasn't given out so easily. Soldier. They told me to do something illegal, like stealing a person's credit card number, and that was how they verified the rookies. To me, this seemed simple, but I needed a victim, and I had an idea. There was this one guy at school who really had it coming, Randy Bickle. Maybe next time watch where you're going. <laughs> What's your problem, man? Did you just send me Dostoevsky? They said, why don't you pick on somebody your own size, huh? You wanna go, huh? You wanna go, huh? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's not an asshole. What a dumbass. I built a pretty simple site that sold fake supplements, and Randy fell for it. He used his dad's credit card, and it had a lot of money on it. Dad? Can I use your credit card? <laughs> yes. I leaked the information to Dark Web, and before I knew it, one of their guys was communicating with me. This guy who called himself Roosevelt gave me low-level access. In reality, it was more of a job. Black market trading. His prices were much lower than market value, and this made it easy to find buyers. First time around, he sent me a couple of powerful gaming laptops, and I just had to sell them. So I went on Craigslist and found a buyer. This guy was a small-town gamer who liked to play for money. But I didn't care who he was. Most importantly, he had the cash that I needed. I'd never made this much money at once. I sent Roosevelt his cut and bought myself a new laptop. In other words, I was in business. And I liked it. A lot. Roosevelt kept sending me things and I kept selling them and making the money that I needed. The products were always something simple. Phones, jewelry, watches, laptops. Easy to carry, easy money. There were other ways of making money, too. Forums had kept a list of vulnerable online shopping sites, and they were easy to break into. I didn't want to cross that line, but these companies had insurance, so there really wasn't too much damage. I pulled a few hundred credit cards and sold them on dark web. I would have used these cards myself, but I needed fake IDs to match them, so I was happy to get whatever I could for them. It took me four years to save up 30 grand. This time I did it in four weeks. And now I was ready. So, uh, 
call you guys when I get there. Be careful. And uh, I'm gonna be sending you guys money every month, so spend some time together. They look after each other. I left my parents behind and took the bus to the big city. I wasn't sure if I'd made the right decision, but it was too late to go back. cool to move to Toronto. Everything was bigger. Welcome to your new home, Mr. Sir. The building has 24-hour security, has a shared rooftop. There's a loading dock around the back. We've got all brand new stainless steel appliances, floor to ceiling, windows. The neighborhood is absolutely up and coming. There's not much more you could get. Do you have any questions? Yeah, how do I connect to the internet? Unfortunately, my payment was late, and the university said I could only start in January. That meant I needed money to live. I'd made enough money for Roosevelt that he increased my access on dark web. I could now buy credit card numbers and fake IDs and use them for online shopping. so simple. I couldn't use Craigslist to find buyers in the city, too many cops and fakes, so I tried my luck with a few pawn shops and jewelry stores. Okay, I want to sell them. Do you want to buy them? Look, these are real, these are real watches, okay? This cost this cost fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, I sell for for ten. Thousand? Yes. <laughs> what, 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 what's that? What's that? No, no, no. See, he? These are real watch too, okay? I sell these to you for uh, 200 bucks. Three watches. Hey, what can 
I do for you? It says here you purchased these three days ago. How come you're selling them? I, you know, I, I just didn't want them anymore. So return them. I, I can't. I lost the card that I used to purchase them, so... Well, wait for a replacement card. I mean, surely it's worth the wait rather than losing money on the resale. Do you want to you buy them or do you not? Okay. Mr. Uh, Munchausen. We're going to need two pieces of ID and a proof of address. Bank statement is fine. Then we're going to get you to sign a form stating that these were not stolen, at which point we'll review your application. If everything checks out, then uh, you can come back and we'll make the purchase. Look, you can't just buy them now. I, mean, I, can, you know, I can drop the price by another thousand. We're going to have to follow protocol. Yeah, you know, don't worry about it. I'll just I'll, I'll keep them for now. Sure. Been a rough day. Sorry, do I know you? Sorry. Hey, I just want to uh, talk to you about your watches. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. I just I might want to buy your watches. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? What? If it'll help, I'll give you five grand for all. Of them. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Thirty grand. Seven. Thirty grand. Okay, I tell you what. I go in there, I sell them for at least thirty thousand. I take thirty percent off the top. Probably you got the money today, huh? And otherwise. Otherwise, you take your watches and go. Hey, look, the watches are stolen anyway, right? So what do you got to lose? Okay. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. I go in alone. All right. That's rude. Come on, walk with me. What happened back there? What? Did exactly what I said I was going to no, do. You I went in there. I said, yeah, I went out the back door. Here. You didn't tell me you were going to go out the back door. What's this? Twenty-four thousand five hundred dollars. Very dirty twenties. What? Well, it would have taken a while to get fifties and hundreds. But you sold my watches for thirty-five thousand. Receipts in the bag. See, now you don't strike me as some student who has very expensive taste in watches, and you don't seem like a thief, so I'm thinking to myself, who is this kid? How'd you do that so fast? I'll tell you. You tell me how you got those watches. Hey, hey, don't worry. It's all in there. I promise. <laughs> and that was how I met Sai. Now, you want to approach every buyer differently. I know that sounds simple, but it is important. Because if you say the wrong thing, you could lose credibility. You know, you could get blacklisted real quick. You don't want to do that. We still working in these conditions, eh? I mean, it takes a lot of strength to do what you guys do. You should give yourselves a pat on the back. You guys are troopers. And you know who else shares my opinion? Your wives, your parents, your sons and daughters, and I think that you should be able to call them. I ever use one of these? But if you can put yourself in the shoes of the buyer, you're gold.
Thank you very much. You're under arrest. And then there are also people, you know, sometimes people in high places that you, you don't think are on the market, and they're not until you find them something they like. What we have for you, gentlemen? Nothing short of extraordinary. So we got uh, monochrome LCD display, USB interface, 20 megabytes of built-in memory. It's got an electronic compass. And more importantly, your friends will be really impressed as to how you actually got your hands on them. So, who did you steal from this time? Yeah, I didn't steal them, Tommy. I know somebody that works for the watch company. Get them for a good price. How many have you got? Two for you. Eight for your friends. Now we'll take them. Now then there's your long-time buyer. Now you always got to make them happy. You got to keep bringing them stuff because trust is the most important commodity in this business, right? It takes a long time to build, but you could lose it just like that. What's up? Oh, hey, I'm Chris, by the way. Hi. So what can I do for you? Go. Oh. In just a couple months, we made about 60 grand. I sent some money to my parents and saved the rest. And now I guess it was time to finally go to school. The criminal mastermind behind last night's cyber attack on the World Bank has claimed responsibility for what he calls an act of justice. Now, no money was touched, but authorities say the breach in security was substantial. The banks of this world have enslaved their citizens, and they quietly stand back and let the people suffer under the weight of their debts. That is not the fault of the people. It is the manufactured sin of the bank. A drug addict makes a mistake, but the drug dealer commits the crime. Banks and bankers watch your backs. Dark web is coming after you. I thought about these words and realized that university life wasn't for me. Hey, if you, uh, if you haven't bought your books yet, it'll save you a few bucks. So, I called up Sai and asked him for help with another job. I told him I wanted to try something bigger. Something that Dark Web was known for. Forums had a blacklist of corrupt bankers who were gonna get punished. But we needed to get into their wallets because their online information was highly protected. I think I got some friends that could help. You know, I'm sure it'll surprise you, but the single most important people that I get to know, people in the service industry. Anybody that knows anybody, right? Those are the people who are gonna help you get to the people that are staying there at the hotel or at the restaurant. These are the people that you need to know. Like I said, these bankers were all corrupt. Dark Web wanted to punish them, so I wanted to pitch in to fight for the cause. Nobody knew that I was doing it, and that was the point. We were anonymous. Just got another one. I'm gonna send it to you. Nice. And of course, I couldn't have done it without Sai. He knew a lot of people in a lot of different places. Hey, Chavez, how you doing, man? to me, you saucy little minx, you. Where have you been all my life? Well, you never come around anymore. Thought you started playing for the other team. Oh, very funny. <laughs> Robin, this is my friend Alex. Alex has never been to a strip club before. You're not missing anything, sweetie. So remember that fat cat banker I was talking to you about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes in here all the time. So no problem. I'll get one of the girls to work on. So I have something else for you. This guy comes in last night. He's with a bunch of people. They're throwing money around. I think it was Colombian. Anyways, everything was fine. The girls were making money. But then he tried to force himself on one of the girls. So I stepped in. Anyways, he left his card here. None of us were so keen on giving it back to him. So there you go. Hmm. Holy shit, that's an infinity. What does that mean? It means it's got a shitload of money on it. We can use it at stores. Knock yourselves out, boys. Whoa, whoa. How much money do you want for it? Nothing. It's a gift. Just make sure you punish that asshole. I love you. I love her.
No. What? We can't take money off that car. It's too dangerous. What are you talking about? I wasn't even... <laughs> right, look, man. It is easy money. You said so yourself. It's got a shit ton of money on it, right? Yeah, but... The... You know, well, you know, so what's twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to this guy, huh? So we'll just, you know, get a fake ID, put on this guy's, go to the bank, boom. And then we will never touch it again. I promise. I should be the one going in there. I look way more Colombian than you do. Don't stress me out, man. Come on. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe this isn't a good idea. What if the guy already reported the card stolen? I'm already checking. What? What are you doing? I'm using the card to buy a song. It only costs 99 cents, but if it works, it means we know the card's still working. OK, done. It works. All right. You sure you want to do this? All right, now you gotta be confident, all right? Don't mess with your clothes and just act like you belong, all right? Okay. And this rental was really expensive, so you better make it worth it. I got it, I got it. Right. No pressure. I love to party, but that wasn't really my thing. It only made me wonder what the hell I was doing with my life. <sighs> and then I found something very interesting. The bank that fired my mom and owned the mortgage on our house ended up on the vulnerable list. I remembered my mom's tears, and I wanted to find a way to kick them in the balls. They'd never know it's me, but again, that was the point. Hey, Sai, you think you could help me with a job? I want to cause a little chaos in the bank, and I want to do something that'll d disrupt their system, stall them for weeks. Like something that'll make them close their doors. Sounds good, but I don't get it. Why are we making our money? Well, it's, it's, it's not always about the money, Sai. Right this time, it's about payback. What do you need me to do? Well... You're good. Confidence. Not too confident. Yeah. yeah. Remember, confidence. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll go into the bank and pretend to be a new client. I've already been inside, so I know where I need to sit. Just before lunch, I'll go in as though I'm asking for a loan. The only thing is I need to chat up this banker girl. 
And that's where you come in. Hi, can I help you? Can you do a British accent? Uh, probably. If you can, do a British accent. Why? Chicks love it. She'll fall for it on the spot. You sure? Works every time, mate. I'd like to inquire about a loan for a small business. Oh, okay. So that would be a commercial loan? Yes. Do you have an account with us already? I know. Okay, so we have a couple of different products I can talk to you about. So uh, why don't I get some basic information from you? Well, I just noticed you have the most beautifully symmetrical facial features. It's really... You've been reading movies. Oh. You know, I actually, I have, a, I have a, a director friend who would be happy to audition you for his next film. Oh. It just crossed my mind, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, can I get your, your name? Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. Don't worry about no, it. No, no. We really have a lot of pets. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. Why don't I try to open an account for you? Sure. Just uh, type the date in. Oh, that's strange. Oh, that's right. There seems to be a problem. Something wrong. There's a problem here. Well, that is strange. Ah. Uh, you know what that's all about? Uh, it looks like it's lunch time for you, so I'm, I'm like, I can go and I can come back later. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Good luck. Carol. Carol, there's something wrong. There's... And then, once I'm done, I'm gonna quietly walk out of the bank and head to the car. And no one will suspect a thing. Sir, excuse me, sir. Fuck. Excuse me, can you come with us? What's wrong? We have a small security issue. Oh, it's terrible. What kind of security issue? It won't take very long. Please, come with us. Hey! Hey! Excuse me! Excuse me, officer! Alex and Sai, I appreciate your patience. I'm head of security at this bank. Oh, actually, Sai, you can leave. Thank you. I think I'm going to stay with my friend. Yeah, absolutely not. Sounds okay. I got this. Um. Mm hmm. Pretty cool little thing you got here. Did you make it yourself? I'm not saying anything without a lawyer. Well, first of all, you don't have a lawyer and you can't afford one. Secondly, I'm not the police, so you can open right up with me. Did you make this yourself? I wrote the software. Oh, not bad for a young kid. Where'd you get it? Online. Where online? We're gonna charge you with breaking and entering cyber terrorism and conspiracy to commit credit card fraud on the federal level. You're looking at five to 10 years in prison and you will not be allowed to touch another computer again for the rest of your life. I mean, of course, unless you wanna tell me where you, you bought this. Fine, then I... We'll call the police. Hey, sir, can I ask your name? Curtis, yeah. Is that, your, is that your first or your last name? Both. Okay, Mr. Curtis, um, can, you, can you put the phone down for a second, please? You have exactly one minute. Look, this was just a prank, okay? I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to steal anything. Your security system is awful, firewalls, outdated. Uh, the software that I, that I created was able to put a virus in the system very easily. I mean, it doesn't look good for you that an 18-year-old was able to break into the bank and steal all this information. I mean, a bank like this should be more secure. Okay. Okay, well, what, what I'm suggesting is, uh, you let me upgrade the software for free. 
you can tell everyone that uh, you know that you had security tests and you brought me in to fix a problem. You bank will look bulletproof. Your bosses will be thanking you. And in exchange, all I ask is that you let my friend and I just walk out of here, and we can all pretend like none of this ever happened. Does that seem fair? What the hell happened in there? Why'd they let you go? What'd you tell them? I told them I wouldn't do it again. They let Wait, me go. That's it? That's all you said? Yeah, I thought she'd be happy. She seems a little bit too easy, that's all. I wanted to punish this bank, and I failed. But some people didn't see it that way. Someone leaked information on Dark Web, and everyone knew it was me. At first, I was worried that I'd get in trouble, but apparently, people were impressed. Even the head of Dark Web noticed. Oh, wait. No. Sai, 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 wake up, man. Hey. Mm. Look at this. I just got a like from Zed. You like who? No, no, no. Zed, the guy I told you about, he just sent me a like. Look at that. Oh, I'm happy for you. <sighs> I'd never gotten this kind of attention before. Apparently what I did was pretty ballsy because I actually went into the bank where his most break-ins happened remotely. That's why he noticed me. Dude, you're famous. Huh? What? Hey, what are you doing, man? I just got you a date. What the hell? What? She wants to meet up with you. She said she's got some ideas on how you guys can work together. Cute, right? What, you set me up on like a date with a random stranger? We gotta lay low, man. No, you need to get laid. <laughs> I mean, come on. What's the worst that could happen? So you're Kira, huh? Yeah, but it's not my real name. Where are you from? I don't give out my personal information. Okay, then what are we supposed to talk about? Where are you from? I'm from London. I don't hear an accent. London, Ontario. Really? That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Um, so when's your birthday? It's the 23rd of June, uh, 1993. See? You're an idiot. Excuse me? I know your name, where you're from, and your birth date. With that information, I could steal your identity and ruin your life. It'd be a shame for someone like you to go down like that. Someone like me? I mean, you might as well tell me what your mother's maiden name is, or her occupation. She doesn't have one. It's rough. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's tied to our house with, you know, mortgage by the bank that fired her a little while ago. And they know she couldn't even afford it if she had the job. They say the drug addict makes the mistake, but the drug dealer commits the crime. Did you just quote Zed? Yeah, I did. Do you follow him? Well, yeah, doesn't everybody? No. Most people are in it for the money. Huh. So, so, have you... Have you met him? Um, I almost met him. Almost? What, is that? what does that mean? If you want to meet Zed, you have to do something big. Are you going to answer that? Yeah. You banging her yet? I... <laughs> no, I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Listen, I've got an idea. Uh-huh. Okay, what is it? What if we ask if she wants to work with us? Okay. No, you, you sure that's a good idea? I mean, I'm, we, we just met her. I mean, all that shit she was writing to me on the computer about credit card printers and bitcoins. I mean, no offense, but she knows more than you do. And if we're going to keep growing and get bigger, girl can always help. I mean, alone, we're just two dudes. But she can be a, a girlfriend, a distraction, a decoy. Look, listen, you trust me, right? Just ask her if she wants to work with us. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll call you back, all right? Hey, hey, ask her. So, um, I was thinking, <laughs> sorry, you go. Um, no, you go. I mean, I was, I was just wondering if you we're working with anybody right now. That's funny. Right. Because I was gonna ask if you wanted to work together. Oh. We got pretty carried away with Kira. 
First thing she did was make us buy a credit card printer. I have a couple thousand blank cards I picked up in Thailand. We can stamp them in here and sell them in the dark web, or we can use them in stores. And this is how we can get credit card information. We use our old crew to get the credit card numbers. We print the duplicates, hide them in magazines, and ship them to buyers all around the world. Then she got us using bitcoins. This was digital currency that was pretty much untraceable, and people used it to pay us for the credit cards. Then she introduced me to onion browsing. Apparently you could buy an atom bomb on there and no one could trace it. Point address? Yeah. I can type it in again here. And then she proved to be useful in a very practical way. Thank you, sweetie. Kira basically upgraded us. She managed to find targets with much bigger wallets. That's how we were able to afford big, expensive toys. We went from online carding to real carding. Why do you keep taking the pictures? My clients seem to know what I'm selling. Having fun? Great. When do I get to buy something? Finding the right car is like finding the right woman. You want to get inside her several times a day. Show her off to your friends, but never let them touch her. Then you, you come to the right place. Ah. It just all depends how much you want to spend on the way. Oh, depends. What kind of girl? Italian. Ah. Like a boss? Never been kissed. When it came time to sell, Kira was surprisingly good. <laughs> wow. I sold the watches. It's great. Well, why don't you let us know? Just wanted to take some initiative. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, and uh, I found someone to buy the diamond ring. She used a social media site called Mobley to advertise our products to her buyers. We were very impressed. We suspected she was working with someone. Of course, Sai wasn't very happy about this new arrangement. After all, he usually did all the selling. Where do you find these guys? My uncle helped me. I usually give him a piece of my cut. No, we're gonna have to meet him. If he's gonna be working with us. Um, well, he really just works with me, so we don't have to include him. As long as that's okay with you guys. Shouldn't be a problem. You don't mind, right, Si? I don't, Alex. I don't mind at all. Seems like she has all these buys and don't even haggle with them. How the fuck does she know these people? Is she fucking them? Well, her uncle's helping her. Okay, then why does she need us, huh? Oh, she seems to be doing just fine on her own. My gut's telling me something's up here. I mean, maybe your gut's got a little jealous because she can do what you can do. <laughs> you're joking, right? I don't know. I mean, she just seems like you're a little. We'll laugh on this one, you know? Ooh. And they gave me a 10% tip. Why? What, you give him a tug? Dude, don't be like that.
I think we should move to Hong Kong. Why, what's in Hong Kong? Well, remember I told you there's a lot of action happening there. I think you and I could do really well there if we tried. Seriously, Hong Kong is the place to be for people like us right now. Sai could keep running some deals here, but you and I should go. If only for a little while. I can't just get up and go, especially without Sai. He's like my best friend. I can't just leave him here. We'll think about it. Better be fucking important. Roosevelt, it's nice to uh, nice to finally meet you. Make it fast, kid. I only have all day. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to I wanted to say thank you and uh, you know meet you in person, obviously. That's what you asked me out here for. Well, you know, it's, I think it's important. To... Okay, well, you know, you, you know, you you brought me in, you. You know, here you give me a shot. That's my token of gratitude. How much is it? It's uh, five grand. It's pretty nice of you. But I heard that you've been that. Can I get a fucking coffee here? Have you been going to the stores? Why? Well, I can make more money that way. Well, that tastes like shit. And I wanted to find out if you knew about a girl named Kira. Yeah, she's a, a lieutenant. No, I know, I never heard of her. Why, you want to fuck her? I, no, 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 I just, I was curious. Well, if I haven't heard of her, then she's probably no good. Anyway, I think we're done here. Well, no, do you know how I can meet Zed? Who knows that? No, of course I'm not a cop. Don't ask stupid fucking questions. This is a fucking stupid idea. You need to relax, pal. Who the fuck are you to tell me to relax? I'm not your pal. Jesus. You've been with us, what, a few weeks and you think you can tell us what to do? I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, if we don't do this right, it's gonna take forever to get rid of all this stuff. I think it's pretty logical. No, 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 no. What's logical is to stay small, keep pushing smaller loads, and then when it's time, grow bigger and push larger ones. That's exactly what we're doing. We're growing, so keep up. Alex, you better step in, or I'm gonna tip this truck over, and she's gonna kill herself when she hits the ground and I fall on her face with my ass! You need to calm down, okay? Are you, are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, you're making everybody tense. You're fucking supposed to be tense. Look, it's a dumb idea walking into this meeting. How do you know? Because they're buying a shitload. And unlike Miss Fancy Pants, we don't know who the fuck they are. Why does that matter though they're buying? It matters because, oh God, Jesus, Alex. You're not thinking. All right, look, we got a good thing going here, man. I don't want to screw it up. All right, I've been watching. If something's not right, I can't put my finger on it. It's on me, okay? Because I brought her in. But I'm telling you, that fucking girl is putting us under too much risk. We'll, we'll go in, we'll evaluate the situation. If we can sell it all, then we'll sell it all. But if we can't, it won't matter because we can just sell them all individually. Huh? It's not Alex! Fun. Everything looks good. We'd be happy to make a deal. Well, of course, I share your opinion that it looks good. And I would love to make a deal. But I'd like to know, what's your real commitment? Honestly, how many of these things do you want to buy today? Hmm? A few? Half? How many? Because our principle of business is based on trust. Because without trust, you can't have business. And of course, I want to become trustworthy. So I don't want you to feel like you gotta buy everything today. You know, you're welcome to just take a few pieces and then come back for more. Actually, no. My partner is mistaken. There is no negotiating here. Either you buy everything in that truck 
or we walk and find another buyer. That's our deal. Take it or leave it. What the fuck are you doing? I'm selling because clearly you're not man enough to do it yourself. This is the biggest deal we've ever had. I'm not gonna let you ruin this. Okay, why don't you just back off and let the adults deal with this? I will not back off because you're about to ruin this deal with that fat little mouth of yours. What makes you feel like you can talk to me like that? I'm protecting my interests. My money paid for this stuff just as much as yours did. Yeah, so where do you find these guys, huh? Now, a single one of them seems to know who you are, so where'd you find them, huh? Look, Ty, it's her uncle. All right, it's fine. She's just, just oh, let God, this handle. fucking uncle? What, are you taking her side? No, I'm not. Look, I'm... Hey, hey, hey. She brings in these sketchy-ass buyers who, as far as we know, might be cops. And... Buyers are not cops. God, the fuck do you know, huh? God, you're also fucking sure of yourself. You need to calm the fuck down. All you ever do is talk. Yeah, I'll talk all I want to, sweetheart, because I've been doing this a lot longer than you have. Okay, why don't we just make a deal, guys? No, there's not going to be a deal with this fucking girl here. Is there a problem here? No, 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 there's no, there's no problem. Get your fucking hands off me! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, look, we, we don't want any trouble, okay? So let's, let's just make the deal. No deal! Okay, that's fine. All right, all right, we'll go. Stop being pussies. We are making this deal right now. You are going to buy everything in that truck. <laughs> All right, psych here, I need you to, to shut the fuck up right now, okay? It's fine, no deal. Uh, you walk, we'll walk, we can, we can make a deal another time, okay? Deal is off the table for good now. If we ever see you again, if you deal with anyone that we know, we will not be as pleasant as we were today. Let's go. That was pleasant. Good job, Sai. Fuck off! You have to be so up in his face. These are my contacts. You guys are ruining all of my contacts. What a waste of my time. Fuck! That was a fucking mess. How you guys either need to get along or we all go our separate ways, because I don't want to get shot. I'm pretty sure you guys don't either, so I decided you gotta relax. If she thinks she can handle something, you gotta give her a chance, man. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Sorry. Fine. I'm sorry. There's cops at our truck. We gotta get out of here. That was really close. Why don't you just leave like that? Who cares? He's gone. Okay, guys, I've been thinking about what happened today, and I think it's a sign for us to move somewhere else. He's right. Those buyers could actually come after us. They're all mobbed up. All mobbed up? You hooked us up with mobbed up buyers? What uh, the uh, fuck uh, is wrong uh, with uh, you? That doesn't matter anymore because we're gonna get out of the city. Okay, then where are we gonna go? How about Hong Kong? So Hong Kong became our new home. 
We'd made a ton of money, so we decided to enjoy it a little bit. got ourselves a brand new car and a quiet place where we could work. Here we kept all of our gear and our money. everything that happened, we hoped that things would calm down and we'd move up in the world. At least I'd hoped they would. Thank you. Gustav. Here, our volumes got bigger. We bought more, we sold more, and for higher prices. But it was all the same shit. Watches, jewelry, computers, phones. It didn't feel like we were doing anything special. I like them. Okay. All of them. I want you to appreciate the quality of the product that I'm bringing to you. How much? All. Oh. 200. For you. Like we were just making money. We had no purpose. We weren't moving forward. They set a sign here. We even started getting sloppy. Anytime we used the card, we always did a test purchase online to make sure the card wasn't blocked. But we had hundreds of credit cards and it was hard to keep track of them, so we got ourselves a pickup. Uh, um, uh, sorry, sir. It's hot, it's hot. Pickup was when a card would get cancelled, and if a duplicate was used, the terminal would recognize that it's a fake and would warn the cashier to hold the card and call the cops. We took that risk whenever we didn't test the card. Like I said, we were just making money. A lot of it. And the trouble with that is, money doesn't change people. It reveals them. And I got to see a side of Psy that I'd never seen before. Geez, would you quit with the computer already? We still get buyers off Mobley. I feel like we're not getting anywhere. We've been here for, for months. We're doing the exact same shit we're doing in Toronto. It's getting kind of boring, don't you think? It's not like we're sending anyone a message or hurting the system. We're just making money. So what do you want to do? I don't know, we just gotta, we gotta step our game up. We gotta do something that's big, something that'll hurt. Well, Zed prides himself on being a visionary. He knows that to send a message to the system, you have to talk in terms of dollars and cents because money is power. If we can figure out a way to make money and cause chaos, we can finally get his attention. Okay, so how do we do it? What if we try? Oh, uh, guys, we should be celebrating. Celebrating what? Failure? It's my birthday.
gotta get him something. No, Alex, I was talking about the ATMs. That's my girl, not yours. She doesn't want to be with you. I paid for it whole night. I paid her three times as much, so fuck off. You can't afford her anymore. I'm sorry, man. Look, I know I fucked up. Okay. I get it. Andrew Smith, Eric DePere, come out. What's going on? My uncle. Where's I? I don't know. He was gone when I woke up. Listen, I think I have what we've been looking for. Hmm. What's that? ATMs. What do you mean ATMs? So, banks keep physical cash in vaults, safety deposit boxes, and ATMs. Okay. Wire fraud gets covered by insurance. But if we knock a physical location, then it's a question of security and reputation. So the banks tend to lose a lot. That's amazing. Why have we been wasting our time with the other shit? Check it, check it, check it. You like? How did you get that? I did what I'm good at. I bought some things, I sold some things, so don't say I don't got it anymore because I still got it. And uh, it's also an apology for yesterday. It's a nice job, man. Yeah, where'd he go? Oh, <laughs> and for old time's sake, look what card I used. <sighs> you fucking serious? I... What? You went out and used this fucking card. Are you out of your mind? What's the problem? Well, for one, where's your fucking disguise, Si? Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I wore my sunglasses. Sunglasses, boys. That, that, that's great. The, the problem is that we, we took money from this card, Si! And you can't just go out and use it without a fucking disguise. Do not know they can find us. Jesus, I was just trying to help. Just like you helped yesterday, got us thrown in jail, huh? I already told you I was sorry. What more do you want from me? Nothing. I don't want anything from you anymore. You know why? Because you've been acting like a dick lately. You've been fucking everything up. You don't trust Kira. You're drunk all the time. And now you've gone and used the fucking car that I specifically told you not to use again, Cy. I think you should just go. Just go back to Toronto, huh? Because you're clearly not liking it here. Was this coming from her? Did she tell you to say this? She didn't say shit. This is me, Sai. This is me asking you to leave. Because while you're here, we're gonna get fucking locked up. We're gonna fucking die! So you should just, just take your cut and go, huh? Okay. I'll pack my bags.
I left my IDs in the drawer. Good luck with everything. You know, this used to be fun. Thirty-four. Tuck Mount Street. Now let's try the ATM. Aging Kearney Waiting Road. Fifty fifty-two. Mount Home Road. It's busy, but you can take a lot. ATMs in Hong Kong. Authorities are at a loss as no one knows how this happened. But we do have confirmation that a notorious cyber criminal organization has claimed responsibility. Dark Web, the online mafia controlled by international fugitive Zed, left their business cards at the scene of the crime. Committed by Dark Web. And we won't stop until we find the people responsible. Citizens They're causing a little chaos. The World Banks now fear for the safety of their assets and so we should probably uh, pack up and get out of here tomorrow. The whole city will be looking for us. Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, right, come on, look at me. What's on your mind? I want to get out. That's what we're doing. We're leaving. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to disappear. Disappear? Where? Anywhere. Let's just go. With this money, if we invest it, we don't have to worry about anything ever again. Are you fucking serious right now? Don't swear at me. OK. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's, that's, that's fucking stupid, all right? You just want to wanna leave all this behind and go live a boring old life, huh? Would it really be that boring if it was just the two of us? Yes, what the fuck would we do? We would relax, enjoy life. But for how long? Are you cra I mean, you're the one who said we gotta, we gotta cause chaos and make some money. Yeah, well, now that we've done that, I think maybe we should relax for a minute. Fuck that. Why do you want to leave? What's changed? You. I had a different plan for my life, and now it's just different. OK, well, you know, I, I appreciate that, but I, I can't just drop this. My parents almost lost everything because of those fucking banks. I'm gonna punish all of them. And those fuckers don't deserve to, to sit in their chairs and rip people off every...
It's done. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Okay. I don't, I don't fucking understand you. You're the one who said we needed to get Zed's attention. Yeah, I'm in Hong Kong. Yeah, there's two of us. Yeah. Kira's plan had worked. Zed noticed this and arranged a meeting off the island of Hong Kong. But the man behind the dark web mask was very different to what I'd imagined in my head. Get out of the car. Leave your stuff. He's gonna search you. suggested we move here. Why would you suggest that? Because Hong Kong is the place to be for people like us. Also, we heard that maybe you'd be out here too. We wanted to meet you. We wanted to meet me. Who made you think that you would even get my attention? We had a plan that could bring in a lot of money. Hmm. Well, I don't care about money. But I understand that many people do. So, why do you need me? Well, we need a lot of resources, so the plan wouldn't work without you. Okay. <laughs> then after you tell me. Why do I need you? Because we know how to get this job done. I have had people to do that for me. More than likely, even better. Well, sir, I, uh, I believe you to be a man of principle. So if I bring you an idea and you like it, I can only hope that you let me see it through to the end. Well, before you tell me what you're about to tell me, I need you to understand who I am. I'm not your friend. I'm not your boss. I'm your owner. If you work for me, you'll become my property. And if you do your job right, you can have anything you want. But if you make a mistake, you will die. And so are your families. And so are your friends. So if you want to hold the axe, you make sure to cut off the head clean. Because with me, there won't be any mistakes. So why didn't you say anything in there, huh? There's no limit to what he can do. Got a missed call from Sai. Hey, Alex, it's me. I'm just, I'm really sorry about the, the way things went down. And I just, I've been thinking a lot, and I just, I really want a chance to make it up to you and Kira. Just go back to the way that things were. So I came back to the hotel, and I'm here right now, and I'm just gonna wait for you till you get back. So, uh, oh, hey, that's you right now. Wait, 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 wait. He's at the hotel. Really? Yeah. Sounds like he's feeling better. Maybe we should go talk to him. Maybe we should.
Side. 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 I'll call the cops. Alex, you cannot call the cops. I'll call the, I'll call the fucking ambulance. Alex. I can, they can do something. No, they can't, Alex. They'll come no, and help, help him. There's we can't no leave him, Kira. There's no helping him right now, Alex. Fuck you. Give me Fuck the you. I'm going to call the ambulance. The Colombian man who left his credit card at the strip club in Tirana had been tracking us. He missed the first transaction, but he was ready for the second one. If Sai hadn't come back, Kira and I would have been dead. Sir. I heard about what happened to your friend, and I understand this must be hard for you. But I want you to say to yourself, I will still get this fucking job done. I'm still gonna get this fucking job done. Listen, I think after all this is done, we should find a place to hide out. Yeah, I agree. We should go back to Toronto. No. We need to go as far away as possible. I have an idea as to where we should meet. You know, ever since the banks started to suffer these cyber attacks, the market has been shaking. Fortunately, the Federal Reserve Chairman started to put more money into the economy and things have started to stabilize. Better housing, less taxes, more money for you, more money for me, more money for all of us. Who are you? Just using my phone. We're 15 away. Are you sure, sir? Yes, I'm sure, Mr. Hill. Sir, each of these stock options might not cost a lot right now, but they're going to expire in half an hour, and they will be worthless. You see, by opening up these positions, you're betting that the market is essentially going to crash. I just want you to understand that, you know, my job... Your job is to do exactly as I tell you, and if I tell you to open, you will fucking open. All right, yes, sir. They'll be up on your screen once we fill the orders. I think we should walk away. What are you talking about? Things are not right here. It's gonna go badly. Guys. It's not gonna go well. They're almost there, guys. I need you here, okay? No, Alex, you don't need me here. You can do this yourself. Okay, fine, fine. I want you here. They're pulling up to the building. This can fucking hear you! All right, look, I don't wanna do this without you. Okay, after this, we can go, we can do whatever you want to do, but now I really would like you here. It's not that simple. Kara, please, come on. Guys, we really need you here right now. You guys, here we go. Yeah! 
<laughs> Are they ready? Yes, sir. Begin. getting a, a breaking news alert. We have some live breaking news. We have a shot right now for you. We're going to go to the live shot right now. There's been an incident with the chairman of the Federal Reserve. Project situation, and of course, this is affecting uh, the state and the entire country as we wait with bated breath. Full confirmation on if he has been killed. He was rushed to hospital. The chairman of the Federal Reserve has just been shot outside the Federal Reserve building. We have no idea where the We have a report that the chairman of the Federal Reserve has been shot. It is unconfirmed whether or not he has been killed. Is this thing actually happening? Good God. Well, of course, yes. I'd load everything. Yes, everything. Just do it. Bloody yanks. <laughs> Какая разница? Что сказать? Давай я вас хочу за это. Чего? 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 and the rest of the money of these accounts. 20% to Alex, and the rest you can divide up equally. Sir, maybe we should wait until Monday so that the SEC... Just do it. Remember, Oz, money doesn't change anybody. It only reveals them. Let's see what our friend does with his money. We need to get out of here. Yeah, just one more second. That's for Sai. Asshole. There's a what? Hold on. Sir! The news says you've been killed. Hello? What the hell are you talking about? How can I be dead if I'm talking to you? And that's the closing bell. After today's tragic incident, the market witnessed a nosedive. And by the looks of it, the SEC has ordered a stop on all trading accounts until further notice. It's unclear what this means for the economy, but we can expect the fallout to last for a while. Hey, Alex, time's up. Where is Kira? What have you done with her? Hey, fuck you! Fuck you! Where is Kira? We're just gonna sit here. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Who was that? That's your mom? You're inviting her to the party? Quiet. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What's up?
Uh, JFK as fast as possible, please. I need to use your phone, please. Both Kira's and Zed's phones were disconnected. How is that possible? Who set us up? Who were those guys that kidnapped me? Zed's people? I didn't know. And I didn't know what to do. I have to go and meet Kira in the one place where she said no one would ever find us. Here I felt cut off from the rest of the world. I was alone, and everything was stacked against me. Kira and I agreed that if anything happened, we'd meet at noon at the Temple of Dawn two days after the operation. So I had to wait. And in that moment, I remembered my parents. I'd completely forgotten about them. <clears throat> Alex. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't called. <laughs> I'm sorry I kind of disappeared. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be home in a few days, I promise. Yeah, I miss you. OK, bye. Alex. Alex. Cheaper. Something Cheap? cheaper, yeah, yeah. It's cheap. 1,000 baht, half, 500 baht. No. No? Six. Got that baht. OK, 600? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I waited and waited for her, but she never showed up. And now I really felt alone again. No friends, no family, no one. Excuse me, what time is it? Sorry? What time is it? Oh, um, 12.15? Thank you. Something was off. Hi, I need to use the internet. Okay, you pay for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you take card, right? Uh, you go there, number five, on number, the left. Number five, okay, yeah. That's it, I'm going to
ไมเป็นเงี้ยอันนี้โทรจากร้านดีบัตนะคะDeep inside, I'd hoped that Kira was still alive and that she'd find me. But with every day that went by, I lost hope. I've been asking for a while now, and I, I really, I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't mind if I could just have just five minutes. Five minutes is 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 it's not a very long time. Five minutes on the internet. How fucking hard? Can it be? How many times do I have to ask? I can fucking hear you. I can hear you walking around. Can you at least say something? Just say no. Tell me no, but don't fucking say nothing. Resigned myself to it. I accepted the fact that I was alone. My parents sigh, dark web, Kira Zed. It was all so far away and so long ago. Back then, I wanted to change the world for the better, but now my world was dead. So I decided to just give up on life. Life wasn't ready to give up on me. I decided to stop living in the past and just decided to live. Even if I lived like a caged animal, I was still alive. I realized that by the time I was 21 years old, it caused a lot of harm to a lot of people. I was responsible for the death of the people I loved. Everything had changed. All the chaos, the conspiracies, my beliefs. It was all different. But I guess there was always that one thing that never changed. It killed me to know that she'd sit and wait for me, and I'd never show up. I miss my parents. I wanted to see them so badly. 
I wanted to hug them like I'd never hugged them before. I wanted to sit down and talk to them about nothing. I just wanted to be near them because they know who I am. I was done pretending to be someone else. I just wanted to be myself again. Two years, I was released. I received a royal pardon. I could hardly believe it because I was released under my fake name, but the important thing was. Hola, you're free to go. I was free. And I was finally ready to go home. Are you here? You're obviously very good at what you do. So, if you'd like to get out of here early and have a clean record, we have a job for you. What the hell happened in there? Why'd they let you go? What'd you tell them? I told them I wouldn't do it again. They let me go. It's just a little bit too easy. We have a guy who we think can get us closer to him. He's young. So are you. We'll give him a way to get him interested in you. What do you know about the New York Stock Exchange? You're gonna help him make money, and we're gonna organize everything. And if anyone ever gets suspicious, you just refer to me as your uncle. Where do you find these guys? My uncle helped me. Then, you're gonna need to get him to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is the place to be for people like us. What if he doesn't fall for it? We'll scare him into leaving. I've been thinking about what happened today, and I think it's a sign for us to move somewhere else. Once you're there, you'll need to push the ATM operation on him so that Zed notices you. I was talking about the ATMs. Now, we will always be nearby if something goes wrong. What happened? What's going on? My uncle. What do you mean you don't think he can do it? Are, are you falling for him or something? I had a different plan for my life, and now it's just different. Oh my god. Sad. All we'll need is a paper trail that shows that he financed the operation and that he knew about the market collapse. We'll get him on insider trading and fraud. I need a clean out for me and Alex. I will not do this if it means him getting arrested. Do you understand me? Sure, but you can never see him again. Fine. Where are you? Just using my phone. I wasn't lying when I said we had to get as far away as possible. I was going to meet you there and tell you everything, but I didn't know that they had other plans for me. Zed's partner in crime, Kira Whittle, who was shot dead while attempting to flee from federal agents. Oh. Alex! You bastard! As soon as I got out, I went looking for you. I knew the passport you had, so it wasn't hard to track you down, but it took me a while to get you out. I wish I could have sent you a note. I wish I could have told you that I was coming. But I couldn't risk it in case they were watching, so I had to wait till today. Why didn't you just tell me? I tried. No, you didn't. You lied to me. You know, I never really lied to you. I just didn't tell you the whole truth. So what are you doing here? Can I give you a ride home? Might have some trouble crossing the border. Not if you use your real passport.
You okay to drive? Mm-hmm. In the end, I got a chance to start over. To live an honest life and make an honest living. And Kira, well, I was just happy she was alive.